Good morning, guys. So I'm up working this morning, and I was thinking about the world. You know, a lot of people haven't really seen me in person in a few years, and it's because I've been really just focused on my spiritual relationship with God, my relationship with myself, my relationship with my children, and focusing on those most important things to me. Not to say that y'all aren't important. Y'all aren't. People that were in my life, that are in my life, they know that y'all are important. I just needed some time to myself. But I was sitting back thinking about the world as it is. And it's funny because when you're not in the chaos and in the hustle and bustle of every day, you get to actually watch how the world really operate. So while they have everybody down here worried about race and certain agendas that pull at your heart. You know, that's how they get you. They pull at your heart. The universe does it that way too, because that's what gets your attention. They've paid attention to how God works and then they started mimicking God. So they pull at your heartstrings. They tell you stuff like, people don't like black people. And they create these these experiences. So there are people that don't like black people and there are people that don't like white people. You go to Hawaii, people don't like white people. You see what I'm saying? So it happens all over the world where it's just race relations and hate and anger. But what's actually going on is the powers that be, and these are human beings. These are not... I mean, they are spiritual beings as well, but specific human beings are trying to orchestrate the world in a place where it's nothing but darkness for y'all. And thank God a lot of people started to wake up and move forward. I mean, their agenda is already in motion. So there's nothing you can do to stop it. But those who have awakened... You'll be able to curve your family out of said blocks and said boundaries that have been set by the powers that be. Even if you feel like you're in debt or you're um, not where you really want to be right now, the universe has come through for you. And it, you're not going to be one of those. And this message is like going in a different direction because I just wanted to talk about how they've been playing everybody this whole time and have you worrying about mundane things that really don't matter on the whole strength of trying to orchestrate something else behind the scenes. That was the whole point of this. But I guess I'm going into a message of... Expect goodness to come to some of to people who've done their healing during this last cycle. It's a lot of people that were in like a 20 year, 25 year healing cycle where you had to learn self-worth and value and respect for yourself. Because you seem to have put society ahead of yourself or put other people's needs ahead of yourself and the crime against humanity was being done to you by you so you've done the work you've done the spiritual work you've come to that conclusion of whatever you needed to come to I don't know everybody's situation is different but it does entail self-worth and value that's the main thing and you have a lot of blessings coming your way, and that's the truth. You received one already, and you're trying to get stable in it. Because with Saturn, 
what we've been working with over the last 25 years has been with Saturn. That's who has been like a Saturnian, Neptunian experience. Saturn is about working hard, construct, restriction, focus, sober. Neptune is about delusion, illusion, truth. So that's the type of experience you've been under for the last 25 years, but they've been, they cranked it up for you to learn and, and work the lessons in the last eight years. So you're now healed. You're in a different timing in life and you don't you don't have anything blocking you so you move, you're going to move forward you have one thing that's come in that you have to take care of might be expensive it might be like a new luxury home or something like that um but you have to take care of it. It's not something, I mean, you've earned it. It's yours, but Saturn, when, when Saturn gives you something, it's like, you've earned it. Like you've, you've worked really hard for this promotion at work. So now you got to do the extra work for the promotion at work. It's like that type of stuff. Saturn is real weird like that, but it be long lasting. It's not stuff that can be taken from you. It's not fly by night, like how Jupiter will give you something. And then within a year it's gone or within a few months, no Saturn, you keep it because you've worked for it and it's in you. It's part of you. So you received one thing. You got two more things coming in. And these things are going to come in within the next few months. Like in a couple of weeks, you're going to receive something else. Or even now, like you might be receiving it today on the second thing. And then by January... 23rd, you would have gotten the third thing. I don't know what's happening in January 23rd, but that's, it's like November. You received something already. You've learned to balance it and rock with it in October and November. Like you've learned, you got, you had to like get your grippings. <laughs> Cause I don't know. I think when it came to you, um, it wasn't easy. It was like a hard experience, but you got you got settled, got your grippings. And then now it's just all about keeping it and working it and living and and just doing the damn thing. That's really what it's about right now. So yeah. This message took a different turn. I was hoping to, to talk about some other stuff, but that's the message. Anyway, the powers that be, they have accomplished what they came to do. I just wanted to say that. Like, I know y'all think y'all are trying to stop them. Nah, they did it already. It's done. They so well engroomed and well embedded in everybody that the work is done. We just have to figure out how to, not even figure out, because what they don't have is the backing of God. You know, they're mimicking God, but they are not God. So we got God. That's the only thing I can say about it. All right. I'll see y'all later. Good morning. Let me get ready for work. Bye.